Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we're going to make an interchangeable notebook for my sister. Stay tuned. For those of you who got the joke of this video, thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you all so much for the positive support that you show to my channel. I really do appreciate it. So in that video, I made fun of a ratty tatty notebook that my sister just happened to let slip out of her purse while we were together. Y'all, she was fully in on the joke. In fact, she strongly encouraged me to share what was humorous to us with our online family. And I am so glad that so many of you got the joke. But y'all, that notebook really was ratty tatty. So that is what we're doing today. I'm going to be making a notebook or notebooks for my sister. And I have a unique little idea that I think will work for her that might also work for you. So here's the notebook. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here's the eight by five notebook that I made for my sister. And I apologize if you hear lawn maintenance equipment in the background, but they are working outside today. So hopefully it won't be too intrusive. This is a beautiful eight by five notebook that she can carry in her purse. It's the same size as the one that she was carrying before. So what I've done is I have added an elastic closure. So that'll make it easy for her to carry around in her purse. Very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and open this and give you a look. So here is the inside of the notebook. What we're going to be focusing on today is the actual jacket or the replacement notebook. It'll still end up being a completed notebook but I want to show you how you can make it interchangeable. But what she said to me is that she would love to have fresh notebooks that she can change up here and there. But there was one certain thing that she wanted to be able to carry from notebook to notebook, and that was a pocket or a tuckable that she could just take out and carry. So knowing that, this is what I created for her. So on this side, we have our standard eight by five notebook. And on this side, we have a nice little pocket that she can tuck in receipts and other things that she might want to keep. And then we have a tuckable here that she can also tuck in a few things that she might want to hold on to. And then I left some space underneath this little piece of embellishment that she can tuck in as well. So here's the beauty of this. Whenever she's done with this, but she wants to hold on to this, it just comes off because I have it attached with Velcro. So even if she wanted to just take this to the store with her because she didn't need all of this, she can pull this out and she can take it to the store because we have Velcro on the back and then we have the coordinated Velcro here on the base. So this is one of the ways that we can make this interchangeable and we can make parts of it removable. So I'm going to go ahead and just place that back down put it in place and you can see that it goes down very easily. Doesn't take away from the beauty of this project at all. You can also do the same thing you want with your notepad, but since I'm considering this notebook a one and done, I didn't add Velcro to the back of the notepad because it really was this part that she wanted to keep. So what I'll be doing is making her some notepad jackets. That way she can just take this and attach it to that jacket. And I'll also be giving her some extra notepads that she can attach to the inside of that fresh jacket whenever she's ready to make the change. Y'all, this is a very nice little notebook and it's one that my sister will definitely appreciate and it's one that anyone that you might want to make it for will appreciate. And then on the back, there is a quote that um, I shared with my sister that she absolutely loved because I saw it on a sticker and I bought the sticker. And what it says is today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. So I just love that quote and so did she. So I decided I would put it on the back of her notebook just as a reminder. Y'all, here is what we're going to need to make it. Y'all, I am using chipboard on my project and before I start this project, I just wanna put it out there that this is a one and done. I am not going to be using lamination. I won't be using Mod Podge. I won't be using contact paper or any of those things. If that is what you want to use on your book, 
because you don't want yours to be a one and done. I most certainly encourage you to use whatever it is you want to use on your book. For me, this is one and done. She wants it as a one and done. So I'm sharing a one and done process with you. So I have chipboard and I have a medium weight chipboard. If you don't have chipboard and you do want to use a hard board on your journal or your notebook, you can double up on cereal boxes. You can use shoe boxes. And if you want, you can even try using cardboard. But for my medium weight chipboard, I have one piece that measures three quarters of an inch by eight and a quarter. And then I have two pieces that measure five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Then I have a five by eight notepad. And then I have my beautiful papers that I'll be using on this project. I have a piece for the pocket. This measures three by four and a half. I have a four and a half by 10 inch strip. I have a 10 by 10 piece. Then I have two 10 by 10 pieces that I'll be joining together for the jacket. And then I have a piece that is eight by 11 and a half. That will be the inside liner. So what I'm going to do first is show you how to make the actual jacket. And then I'll show you how to make the removable piece that will go on the inside. So to cover the jacket, I am going to be joining two pieces of 12 by 12 together. And I'll be joining those two pieces together with my wide tape. So this is one and a half inch tape. I'm choosing to use a one and a half inch tape to join this together, but if you want to use a thinner width, you certainly can. So I am just going to take this, place it down like this. And trim away. And then we're going to go ahead and peel that. I'll take this piece and I'm just going to place it down like this because I just want to join my two pieces together. Now I can flip it over and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chipboard piece and I want to make sure that the seam is on the back side. I'm going to take this piece and basically butt it against the seam that's visible to me on the top. So we will go ahead and place this piece down. There's that seam that's visible to me. So I'm going to take this piece and place it right there. That will ensure that my seam is on the back. And we'll take this piece and I'm going to put it down, giving myself about an eighth of an inch in spacing. Then I'm going to take this piece and place it down, giving myself about an eighth of an inch in spacing. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim away some of my excess. Now I can flip this over and get everything nice and stuck. And I'll take my stylus, press it against the chipboard, and then press down into the paper, basically giving myself a nice little score. So if you do have a paper that has a tendency to crack or you think might crack, this does help to loosen the fibers a little bit. It might not eliminate the cracking that will happen, but it might help to reduce it. So I am just going around and really pressing into that paper. I'll also go inside here. And now we can stand up and train our paper to fold over. And now I'm going to miter my ends. And y'all, I'm going to zoom in on this mitering part because there have been a lot of questions about how close do I go. I'm going to see if I can zoom in enough to where it's not fuzzy. So hopefully that's not too fuzzy. I'll zoom back out in just a minute. But when I am mitering, basically when I cut in this way and I cut this way, 
you can see that I have just a little bit of white there. So when we go in, we're leaving enough so that when we fold over this way and we fold over that way, the chipboard is not exposed. But if you do cut short, take that piece that you cut and glue it down so that when you fold over, you won't see the chipboard at all. That is not my original idea that was shared with me a while back, and it's just one of those ideas that works. I'm zooming out because things will get pretty blurry if I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and just angle our miter. And miter. Then I'm just going to take my wide tape because it's what's out. You can use glue on this if you want. And I am just going to place down some tape on all four sides. And now I'll peel away my tape backers. And we're going to go ahead and just fold over. So I'll stand it up, fold it over, fold it over. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of tape and place tape on these ends here because when I fold it over, I covered some of that tape and I just want to make sure that I have good tape coverage. So now we can peel away those little tape slips and fold over. And what I'm going to do is where I have that seam, I'm just going to pinch here as I fold over. And then we'll do the same thing here. And so where I have that seam, I'm just going to pinch there fold over, pinch, and fold outward. And then I'm just going to take my big old spatula, go around and get that nice and stuck. And then I'll take my big old spatula and go around the edges just to give that a nice squared professional look. Then I'm going to take my tape and I am just going to place tape down on the inside to cover the chipboard so that we can place down our inside liner piece. Then I'll bring in my inside liner piece and I am going to place tape around it as well. Then we'll remove the tape from the inside liner as well as the jacket and we'll join the two together. So my inside liner piece measures eight by 11 and a half. Okay, so we'll go ahead and peel away the tape backers from the liner as well as the jacket. So now I can take this piece and just place it down like this. And then I'll just go over it to make sure that I have everything nice and stuck. going to work that spine, making sure that I have good spine definition and a good stick. And y'all, there's my jacket, but I do want to go ahead and add the elastic so that I'll have a nice closure on this. And here's how I'm going to do it. I am going to use my hole punch to punch two holes, and my holes are 3 16ths of an inch in size. So on the back of the book, I'm punching a hole here at the bottom, and then I'll punch a hole, try to get it in the same spot at the top. And so what I did was I punched two holes. I came in about half an inch from the top, half an inch from the bottom, and about 
oh, a quarter to half an inch on the side. So that's how I'm going to place down my elastic. So I'm going to grab that elastic And from the back side, I'll feed it through my hole. I was going to put some eyelets on this, but I didn't have any deep enough that would fit. So I'm just going to do this like this. So I have placed it through the back side of the hole. I have this piece like that. This will all be covered by the notepad. So I'm going to take my glue because I don't want this coming up at all. And you can see I place glue there. We'll take this piece and we're going to place it right there. I'm going to grab a clip or maybe two clips and let my clips hold that in place while I do the same thing down here. So I'm just going to take this and pull it as tight as I want it and then I'll cut off and we'll feed this through the back here and do the same thing. So I'm just feeding it through the back. I'll pull it through like that and you can see it on the back. And I'll add my glue like that. Pull it just a little bit to get it stuck. And then I'm going to use my clips to hold this. And so y'all, here is the jacket. I would make up a bunch of these for my sister so that when she felt like changing her notebook, she can. Here's the secret to making the interchangeable pocket work. So I'm going to lift it away from here. I'm going to take my Velcro and I am just going to add the corresponding pieces to this piece. And so now I can take this and we can just place it down in this book like that. So now if she wanted to carry this one, she just removes the pocket from this one and transfers it to this one. If she wanted to go back to this one, she has her four Velcro dot bases here. She would simply need to peel this away. and place it back in this book. So y'all, I think this is a fabulous way to get that interchangeable look, but I do want to show you how to make this whole piece. So we're going to let this continue to dry and I'll show you how I did it. So I have a 10 by 10 inch piece here and I'm going to score at three and at two and a half. Then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to score at one and a half and at eight. And then once you have your scores folded and burnished on the two and a half inch side, we're going to go ahead and remove this corner piece here. And we're going to remove the corner piece here. And then all you're going to have is this piece. So then here at the top, we're just going to go ahead and do angle cuts on all sides of our score mark. Then I'll take my glue I'm going to put some glue on these flaps here and we're going to fold them over. And then I think I'll just take my oval punch, which is a two inch oval punch. And I'm just going to punch out a little notch. There's a little notch there for ease of opening. So then I'm going to take my glue 
place my glue along the edge here placing it along that edge and then I'll fold over like that and then we'll take our glue here get that nice and stuck and fold over and so now we've created a nice little pocket I'm going to bring in the piece that I cut at four and a half by ten and we're simply going to mount it to this piece so the way that I'm going to do that is I am going to add some glue to the back and I'm mounting this piece so that I'll have a flap for the front but it also gives me a little bit more stability to my pocket so that it can be removed and removed and removed without breaking down immediately. So I am just going to get this nice and stuck. Then I'm going to take this piece and we're simply going to fold it over like that. And then I'll take this piece and when I fold it over I'm not going to take it all the way to this part. I'm going to leave just a little bit of that white showing. So we'll go ahead and get that folded. Add my glue. And fold over. And so now I'll take my scissors and I'm just going to round a little bit. Now that's how we make our little interchangeable pocket. This is now very sturdy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of Distress Ink because my sister likes the Distress Inked look. And I am just going to go around and add some ink. Fold this back get in there. So now I can bring in my book and remove my clips and now I can bring in my velcro dots and just add the corresponding piece to the piece that's already down And now I can take this and we're just going to place it down like that. Now I'm going to take my Velcro dot, my last one, and we're going to put it right here so that we can close our pocket and none of our goodies will fall out. And then I have a piece that measures three by four and a half. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just double up this piece because I want a nice sturdy front pocket since this will be removable. I want to make sure that my pockets stay in place. So I am using some glue. I'll take this piece and I'm going to lay it down on a piece of my scrap like that. And then I'll trim away my excess. Take my pocket and just trim away some like that. So by doubling up, I have a nice sturdy pocket on here. I'm going to take this and place it right there. So I'll take my glue and I'm going to place glue on this edge and on this edge. Now we can take our pocket and we'll put our pocket right there. And so now we have this notebook body. But my purpose was really to show you how to make this base so that you can make up a whole bunch of these if you want. And the secret is adding your Velcro dots. Just to make sure that your Velcro dots are all the same. So if you have all of the fuzzy smooth edges here, which I do, then you want to make sure that throughout the books that you make, 
you have all of the fuzzy smooth edges down and on the back you have the rough part so that when you go to put these down they will fit so the key is making sure that from book to book you have the same bodies on the back and on the front so that you can hook and loop these pieces down like that isn't that sweet we can now take our book and y'all this is just so interchangeable you can make that book look so many different ways look at that absolutely fabulous so I'm going to go ahead and just take this one off and put it back here and we'll put this one here and we're going to cover the notebook then we'll add a few decorative pieces and y'all we have created a masterpiece for my sister so I have some scrap left over I know this is five inches across I am just going to cut out a piece that is five inches by three and now we can take this piece and we can put it right there just to really cuten up the joint just a little bit so I'm going to add my glue making sure that I don't get my glue on the paper I'll take this piece smoosh it around in that glue just a little bit getting it nice and stuck y'all then I'll take my stylus flip it over and just press it against the notebook so that I can get me a little score going we'll fold like that nice and neat and then I'm just going to add my glue to this we're going to take it and just do a wrap around getting it nice and stuck I'll go along that top to get everything nice and smooth now we can take it one and done and I'm going to place it right there and I'm going to place it down with glue so now I'll take it and I'm just going to place it down I definitely want it covering the elastic like that then I can lift up go underneath get that nice and stuck and get that nice and stuck as well in this and y'all that is mighty pretty if I do say so myself so now all we'd have to do is close it and bring that elastic over and that is how we can keep it nice and secure so of course I'm going to add just a little bit of distress ink to the outside because I did it on the inside all right y'all so now I'm just going to add a few little pieces of decorative elements to dress up this book for my sister I'm going to take that little piece there it says dream then I'm going to take this flag and I'm going to hold it down with a paper clip so that she can use that paper clip on something else then I have this piece and I'll tell you what it says in just a minute and this says make today magical and that is so pretty then we're going to go to the outside I'm going to take this little decorative piece add some glue to the back place it down right there in the center see if I can get it straight
Then I have this Life is Beautiful, and I'm going to stick right on top. It's round, but I think it's going to work. I think that looks pretty cute. Then I have these little floral pieces that I'm going to place down as well. Place one right there, and I'm making sure that I get really good glue coverage on these pieces because I don't want them coming up. And I'll place some glue on this piece. And we'll take this piece and we're going to place it right there. Getting it nice and stuck. And I'm going to take this little sticker here And it says, different is beautiful. And I like that. So I'm going to see if I can get it down nice and straight. And I think I got it good enough. And I'm going to flip it over. And take this sticker that says, love, dream, and believe and we're just going to place it on the back like that. And so there y'all, we have a really fun way of making a notebook. So once we've used all of this and the cover might be looking a little ratty tatty, we can take out this piece, which might have some of our notes, receipts, whatever in it. We can remove that and just add it to the next notebooks. You can also remove this if you need to carry it with you for whatever reason. All it's very simple to do. You saw how easy it was for me to change out this pocket to this book and this pocket from this book to this book. So all I have to do for my sister now is make her some more jackets that complement this paper so that she can use these pockets in those jackets. Just adding a little bit of Velcro is all that it took. So I hope that you have enjoyed this super awesome video. Y'all, if you have, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, come on, come on. I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.